Service members, civilians, Japan Ground Self-Defense Force, and Japanese residents from local communities gathered in a circle around a large tower and danced to traditional Bond dance music during the 57th annual Camp Zama Bonadori Festival. Co-hosted by the U.S. Army Garrison Japan and the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force Camp Zama. Friendship events with the surrounding communities like today are very special for all of us assigned to the U.S. Army in Japan. It is special because they enable us to spend quality time with our family, friends, and especially our neighbors in the Japanese community. Understanding each other's culture more deeply is very important for two countries to work together as good neighbors and good partners. In a sense, we can say that this festival is a very precious opportunity. Bon is a week-long observance when deceased ancestors return to their families and relatives who welcome them with a large meal and reconnect with the spirits of their family members that have passed on. Also at this time, neighborhoods gather to hold festivals that celebrate their ancestors' return with singing and dancing and the wearing of the traditional Japanese garment, the yukata. I think this is a great event. I understand there were some incidents on Okinawa causing issues, but I've been living here and interacting with the U.S. Army for quite a long time and never had any problems with them. Also, I appreciate that the U.S. Army opens up the base like today to help communicate with the local citizens. I think this is a great event where American and Japanese became one circle and danced together. We're guests in Japan, and so the three or four times a year that we open up our posts, we want to bring in our local uh, Japanese citizens that are great supporters of the U.S. Army here in Japan. And so this is to thank them for what they do on one of their traditions like Bonadori. And as you can see, I, uh, I think all the Japanese uh, from around the Zama area and Sagamahara are having a great time tonight. What most of the family members can take away is a little bit of to relax, blow off a little steam, have some fun with our local national Japanese partners and friends, and it really teaches our younger soldiers how to really be involved in the community. Just like I always say, you know, I'm from Florida, but where I live is where I consider my home, and Camp Zama, Japan is my home. The Camp Zama Bond Dance Festival was introduced almost 60 years ago as a way to celebrate the Japanese culture of Bond season with local communities. Since then, the festival has become one of the major annual events that help bridge the U.S. Army Japan with the local Japanese communities. There are fairs and festivals, and I think we had a pretty good fair of any kind, but what makes it unique and special is the, is the bone dancing right behind me right now. You see those Americans out there, the Japanese all together doing a traditional Japanese dance. It's been around for hundreds of years uh, in unison together. I, I think that is really special and says something about the relationship we have here with the Japanese community and the Japanese people. Reporting for U.S. Army Garrison Japan Public Affairs, this is Honey Nixon.